Jeopardy, and I hope you're having a great Wednesday. Today I'm going to show you how to disassemble a trailer jack. This is a 3,500 pound jack. I've been having problems with the bulldog thrust bearing inside, so basically when you go to spin it, it's not going up correctly. So the first thing you want to do is use a 10 millimeter socket and a wrench to get that bolt off the side, allowing you to pull the handle free. As you can see, it gets a little tricky. Once you do get that handle free, however, it drops at the bottom of it, which you can see now, and allows the two washers to be picked up. And then you're going to just want to grease this with heavy axle grease. If you've never greased bearings before, you want to put some on there and then slap it against your hand to push it up into the bearing itself and not just get it on the surface. You can see me doing that right now. So I get as much grease into this bearing as possible. And then I'm also going to just get that those threadings nice and greased up to just help the operation of it. This trailer jack is probably going on 15 years old. And I couldn't find the Bulldog Thrust bearing anywhere in the store. My only option would have been to buy a whole new jack, which I really didn't need. So I'm going to put as much grease on this as I can. So I'm just going to reinsert the bearing on the end of the jack and screw everything back down just to get some grease run through everything and make sure it's operating correctly at this point, which it is. So then you're going to want to reinsert the bottom of the jack through here. And as you can see, there's a hole for the pin to go into. Don't forget to put your washers on like I just did. All in all, this took me 30 to 45 minutes to do the entire process. And it turned out fixing the issues I was having, so it was much better than spending $30 for a new jack. Okay, so you're just going to thread those back on. I'm going to make sure that it's working correctly, which it was. So I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully it helped out a little bit and it was informative to somebody. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Uh, this is the second one I've rebuilt, and they're, both, they're all pretty much the same. So uh, hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like seeing content like this. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday.